there may come a time when you will need to complete an impedance check as instructed by the physician or medical technician. For example, when you need an MRI. This video will walk you through how to run this impedance check using the remote. You must first turn on the remote. Press and hold the on-off button on the side of the remote for five seconds. You will hear one long beep when the remote has connected to the device. We recommend noting the program and number of levels you are on prior to completing the impedance check in order to confirm there are no changes made during the process. Once the remote is on, slide the battery cover of the remote open just enough to expose the red stimulation off button. Press and hold the red button for at least 10 seconds. While holding the red button, the remote will beep and the illuminated numbered levels will turn off, confirming that stimulation has been turned off. Continue holding the red stimulation off button. The illuminated numbered levels then will begin to light up from bottom to top. This indicates the impedance check is in process. The remote will then beep when the impedance check is complete. Once you hear the beep, you can release the red stimulation off button. In order to be cleared for an MRI procedure, all of your impedances need to be within an acceptable range. The impedances are within an acceptable range when you hear one long beep and see all numbered levels, as well as the battery light light up solid. If the impedance check was unsuccessful, you will hear three short beeps. This indicates the remote may be too far from the device. Move the remote closer to the device and press the up arrow once to rerun the impedance check. If you hear four short beeps, followed by one or more of the illuminated number levels or battery light flashing, this indicates one or more of the electrode impedances are not within acceptable range and the MRI cannot be completed. Your physician or NEVRA representative might ask you to complete an impedance check of your individual leads for reasons other than an MRI. The number one above the P indicates lead one, and the number two above the P indicates lead two. Press the P button once to switch between leads and observe if all numbered levels, including the battery light, light up solid. To exit the impedance check mode, press the on-off button on the side of your remote for five seconds until all lights on the remote turn off. When the remote is turned on next, it will return to the normal mode. To turn stimulation back on, first turn the remote on using the on-off button located on the side of the remote. Then press the up arrow once. You will now see illuminated number levels indicating stimulation is on and you can adjust program settings as needed.